Hello everybody, my name is Peter and today I'm using a program called Rhino 8. And this is something I've recently started, well by recently, like 30 minutes ago, I decided to call it 3D Doodling. And this is just because of the mindset I have when I'm doing it. It's the same mindset I have when I, or maybe you, doodle just on a piece of paper with a pen or a pencil. Basically, I have no end goal and I have no plan as I move forward through the piece. And I think it's a fun way to build things, even with a 3D modeling program like this. And if you wanna try it yourself, a good one to start out with is uh, one called Blender. It's free and very powerful. I use this one because I was introduced to it at school and if you have a student email address, you can get this one for pretty cheap, at least compared to the real price. Anyways, basically what I mean by the doodling thing is I, I make, a bunch of shapes and just keep adding shapes and forms and like I said I don't have a plan for how it's gonna look or what's gonna happen I'm just kinda gradually adding things and asking myself what what shapes would look cool to add to this to what I have so far um, it's a little bit more complicated obviously than just drawing with a pen or whatever because you have to learn a few skills like I watched some video tutorials uh, for this program, but it's pretty simple. I learned how to make basic shapes, you know, uh, flat shapes, so like a like a like a circle or a square, and bigger shapes, thicker shapes like cubes and cylinders and cones. And then, basically, what I do with these sh different shapes is I add them in different sizes. I subtract them from each other. That's that's called a uh, very cool word, Boolean. Boolean functions where you two sh shapes are intersecting and can sub subtract one from the other. So that's a cool thing. And one thing I love doing is something called arrays. I do a lot of arrays along curves, so I can put one shape on the edge of a on the edge of like a, a cylinder, for example, and then make it surround this the cylinder like four times or eight times and. Uh, it just looks cool. The re repetition is a powerful thing, whether you're drawing or 3D modeling or working in clay or sewing or whatever you're doing. Repetition can be a powerful thing, and it's very easy to do in a program like this. So just lots of fu simple little functions like that I've learned, and it's turned, uh, well, it's made it so I can do very satisfying things just building in this program. Now, what you're watching here is kind of a, a, a camera, a, a second viewport uh, of watching me work. Because if, it was, if this was a view of me actually working, the view, uh, the screen would be spinning around so much. There'd be so many little uh, like pop-up windows and stuff. It would be very difficult to watch. And I know it's already a little bit difficult to watch as things swirl and move around. But um, maybe I'll figure out a better way to edit it in the future. But I think it's pretty cool to watch it come into shape and form. The, the, the shapes pop out of each other and kind of explode and become a thing. I think it kind of looks like the... Um, oh, I don't want to put any ideas in your head. I think it kind of looks like the Holy Hand Grenade from Monty Python. But uh, I think in my head it was some kind of weird electrical thing. And then when I was almost finished, I realized that it had to be some like on or off switch, but reaching, touching the base itself would be too dangerous because in my mind, this would have some, it would be able to spin or turn in some way. So I, I made some little control panel with the LC, LCD, LCD screen. Is it LED or LCD? Anyways, I made a little, little control panel attached by a cord that would go off to the side and I don't know. Let me know what you think it does. I don't think it actually explodes. At least I hope not because I put a lot of work into it. Anyways. All right. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. That's all.